Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the dark side of the podcast, the live stream edition. Round of applause for the survivors here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The podcast is your home for rational crypto news and objectivity, leaving emotion at the door, talking about what we like, why we like it, and where we see it going. We are not offering financial advice. We are telling you what we do, and that is all. We don't slow down. We don't let up. Full speed is our only speed. I am your host, Scott, pragmatic investor who has what in lost fortunes. Joining me as always, greatest producer of all time, Bell. How are we doing tonight, Bell? Yeah, again, glad to be here tonight, Scott. How are you today? Oh, I'm just, I'm blooming. I am just killing it. <laughs> Come on, man. Have you seen crypto before? My chair slid down here a little bit. I have to, uh, I have to mind my height though because I'm, I'm wearing fatigues and I don't have my shirt tucked in. So, uh, in the words of my buddy Guy, I look like, uh, I look like Al Qaeda's <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with the shirt hanging down and the fatigues. He said, you look like, he said, <laughs> what did he say? He said, you look like a lawyer for the Taliban. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I think guys, he's a funny guy. Here at the podcast, we have a tendency to talk about what others are not talking about, bringing the focus onto use case cryptos, because as we know, these are what drive the market and bring innovation to a world that desperately needs it. The status quo is no longer acceptable. It's time for a technological revolution. Welcome to crypto. Welcome to the podcast. And again, thank you. Thank you. I think we can even go up a little bit higher here, guys. There you go. Let's try it up there. We're, we're looking for three quarters of the frame. That That's that's what we go for. Uh, that's what you go for when you're broadcasting like this is three quarters of the frame. So somehow my my chair is just shrinking down. I, <laughs> time for a new chair, Bell. How, how, how are you tonight, by the way, Bell? Uh, you know what? I'm really good, although I'm laughing about the fact that you've already broken your chair and it's been less than a year since you got that one. You, you oh. know what? When you spend $500 for a desk chair, you expect quality. I don't think I'm peeing out of line here. You know, uh, just no. make it work. You know, make it last. Yeah. Do something here. All right. So I know you guys aren't here to uh, hear me make funnies. I know you have no interest in this. That's what you got a lot of interest in is what the hell just happened. Well, uh, as we, uh, I know we, we talked about this last week or, uh, last couple of weeks, but, uh, what we were talking about is in fact come, come to pass and there will be no Bitcoin ETFs in 2023. They're simply not going to happen. Now, when that particular message really did go out, it hit right here, but, the neat thing, the interesting thing is what this actually did to the rest of crypto and to the rest of the ecosystems. That's what I'm actually found very, very interesting, and particularly what it did to Adam, because uh, Adam got absolutely crushed. I mean, that thing went from uh, like eight fifty to eight bucks just like that. I mean, I, I get it; doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a five percent fall off on a uh, two billion dollar, two point whatever billion dollar ecosystem. That's a lot of money going poof now. There's a reason for it. That's the funny thing. Everybody, well, how did that happen? Did people? No, people didn't sell. All right, it, nobody would have sold that quick. It just it wouldn't have happened. Uh, what it is is the way the entire Cosmos ecosystem is built, designed, everything that exists on the Cosmos ecosystem, all of the damn LSDs, liquid staking derivatives, uh, everything up here is leveraged against everything else. It just is what it is. So. When Bitcoin takes a little bit of a tumble, and we're talking less than 1%, Bitcoin fell less than 1%. It was basically just a little hiccup. And Adam just dove 5%. I mean, immediately 5% just like that. Millions of dollars just went just like that. And uh, yeah, so now people are, are trying to come to terms with it. They're trying to come to grips with it. Well, how can this be possible? It's possible because this is the way that you guys design the ecosystem. It's possible because... Everybody is stepping all over themselves talking about how great LSDs are and how great it is to lend and borrow and lend and borrow and lend and borrow and get these big ass APRs using tokens as collateral over and over and over. So that when a single token, when a single little thing, and in this case it is Adam, so when it gets shaken just a little bit, it is magnified throughout the entire ecosystem. That's what happened. And that's what is going to continue to happen. You guys thought I, I was kidding myself when uh, you've been watching me clear my out of position. You guys thought I was kidding, right? It was, oh, no, he'll be back. I'm, I, no, no, because this seems to be the only use case for the token is to make it an incredibly uh, speculative and over leveraged ecosystem token. I have no interest in that, man. I can get that anywhere. 
I can get that anywhere. But the only good stuff that seems to be coming out of crypto or out of Cosmos anymore is new ways to leverage Atom, new ways to borrow against it and lend against it and leverage it against token A, B, and C. That is the only real thing that seems to be coming out of Cosmos, man. And look, I, I don't swim in those waters. I got no interest in that. It used to be my rock. It used to be my hard place. It used to be all of that stuff. But uh, my God, man, Bitcoin fell a couple hundred bucks a token and Adam by itself fell from a 40 to eight bucks i mean god gone these things are toxic all right they are 100 toxic assets lsds are toxic and whenever you go and you're going all in on top of something that is trying to squeeze a dime out of a nickel it doesn't take much did we learn nothing from Terra? I mean, it's not like it was that long ago. Did we learn nothing from this? Because apparently we didn't. And the funny part to me was uh, how uh, this right here, this was the whole Cosmos when all of the Terra devs started running over to Cosmos. They were, oh, good, because look at how good they did on Terra. Look how what they did. It was magic. It was magic until somebody figured out how the trick was done. And then whoosh, that was it. End of the world. So... No, I'm uh, going to continue to decrease my position in this as far as I can. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going to be getting out, out, out. But uh, I, I don't make emotional decisions. And is it going to crumble? I absolutely believe it will. Is it going to do it tomorrow? No, I don't. I, I, <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry, but I already get some. Uh, however, I don't think it's fair to blame Adam Price fall on themselves if Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. Uh, sure, it does. Let's let's explore uh, everything here that went down. Uh, and you know, I, we, we're doing a money stream. I get it, man. And look, dude, I'm not asking for your. I'm not asking for your. Uh, uh, I, I'm not asking for uh, anybody to take my word for it or invest on anything that I'm talking about here. But let's take a look at all the other stuff that just absolutely crashed, uh, particularly over here in uh, in the cosmos, man. We can go up and down. Look, Jackal, Jackal, this silly little Jackal token that, that, that's that been doing nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it kind of weathered it okay. How about Osmo? Let's take a look at Osmo, because if there's anything that runs with Adam, it is definitely Osmosis. So Adam crashed. There, there, there it is. I want to know what that is, actually. I'm kind of curious about that one. That little blip right there, uh, which is actually interesting because if you want to talk about tokens that are leveraged against each other, particularly in liquidity pools, and this one actually happens to be the absolute greatest vulnerability to the Jackal token itself is osmosis. And we can illustrate that nice and easy right here because you see this exact same rush. Jackal is effectively the largest liquidity pool on Jackal is leveraged directly against Osmo. That's it. All right, it goes directly against Osmo. There are another couple of pools out there. There's one over on Crescent, nowhere near as large. Uh, there was supposed to be one on Kajira. It never came to pass. So basically, whatever Osmo does, Jackal's going to do. They're stuck together. Now, that is incredibly unfortunate. I mean, that is incredibly unfortunate because Osmo has not exactly been, uh, Osmosis has not exactly been killing it. Now, it hasn't been killing it because, you know, this was kind of uh, due for it. But, you can see these charts pretty well line up, man. And I'm not a chart person. I'm just saying it is what it is. Look, I'm not telling anyone to get out of Adam. I don't care what you do. I'm telling you that I'm clearing my positions. All right, this is not the one for me. I like a cash. I like jackal. I I like kudos. I I'm I'm okay with it. I I'm in all of those those utility tokens, but I have no interest in being in ecosystem tokens, particularly an ecosystem token that is basically built on L ones on just descending and crashing L ones. I have no desire to have my money tied up in that. Man, look, you want to go? You gonna? It's gonna go to a hundred bucks. Fine, man. Stick around. Don't worry about the normal price fluctuations. Everything's gonna be beautiful, but it's just not for me. That's all I'm saying, man. Look, I, we, we don't do this to tell people what to do. We do it to show you what we're doing. And actually, for a uh, funny thing, uh, segueing off from last night's show, I'm a little bit pissed at this because I did take a 3% dip on the, uh, on the Osmo you watched me buy last night. 
and try to get onto Shade, but because Stride couldn't get their shit together and actually start uh, processing transactions, they said they received an abundance of uh, transactions all at one time, and it flooded them and shut them down. Anybody who was on the stream last night, remember watch me, where the hell's this Osmo? Where did it go? It's just gone. Uh, yeah, it finally showed up, but I still couldn't bridge it. So I had to sit there and hold on to it because the very first thing I was going to do with that was liquidate half of it and turn it into silk. Not that I like silk better, but silk is going to survive this a little bit better. That That's all it is, man, because my silk is effectively worth, you know, it's a stable curious, stable curious. It, mm -hmm. It's a stable curious token, and it would have been worth approximately what I paid for it last night, regardless of what happened up here. Look, there are plenty of maxi, uh, uh, Bitcoin, I'm sorry, uh, Adam lovers, man. There's, there's tons of them. They're great. But I've peeked behind the curtain, and uh, the emperor has no clothes on this one, man. I, I just, it, it's not for me anymore. I'll hold on to what I got. I'm inching myself out of my positions. I'm going to continue to inch myself out of my positions because I can do better elsewhere. I still like Cos. I still like Cosmos. All right. And I'm in certain projects over here in Cosmos. But as far as, uh, blindly holding the atom and just waiting for them to try to get uh, try to get their shit together. Uh, you know what? It, it, you don't have to take my word for it, Ben. All right. It doesn't matter. You can look at a 90 day chart on a 90 day chart of Adam or even worse, the 180. Nobody wants to be invested in this right now. And it's pretty goddamn clear. All right. This thing is down almost 50 percent and on its way down almost 50 percent from where it was six months ago. 50 percent. That is shocking amount of losses. And there is, I'm sorry, man, look, there is nobody that's going to jump up on this and say, well, no, man, but you just, you got to see the vision. All right. Six months, dude, you bled off 40% of my money in six months. So what exactly is the vision? Because the only people who are hurting are the investors in this token. Those are the only people who are really getting their asses kicked are the people who invest in it. The people who service it, your validators, they don't care. They're in and out of it every single day. Your influencers and all the people that are paid by the uh, <laughs> by the uh, Cosmos slush fund, yeah, man. The very first thing they do when they receive their grants is liquidate it. That's the very first thing. That is step one. Is they take the atom, thank you, and they liquidate it and they turn it into USDC. This is just the way it is. The more of this shit and the more grants they put out and all of this, the more they do, the more sell pressure is on this token, and there's not a lot of people buying it. Show of hands. How many of you guys are still continuing to stack, 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 stack at them? Because you've gotten to the point where you have, if you have to DCA into an ecosystem token, it's a bad ecosystem token. This isn't right. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, man. There's not a lot of people that are D, uh, DCAing into Ethereum right now. I'm just saying. And as this thing continues to bleed and die and do all of its other things, you see all these other ecosystem tokens are picking up. You know, HBAR. HBAR is just barking right down on it right now. Um, it had its run after uh, the crash in 2022, man. Uh, Adam did its business, and it really held in. It saved a lot of my money. It really did. But uh, what have you done for me lately? That starts to come into play. But you know what? In all fairness, I am still buying it a little bit. Uh, I bought this. As soon as that thing bottomed out, uh, I bought $5,000 worth of Adam. That, that's what I bought right there. Let's refresh and see if it's actually gone up any. I bought $5,000 worth of Atom as soon as, uh, as soon as it bottomed out in the hopes that it'll recover 5% up down or from that bottom that it'll get back up and recover 5%. I believe it will. I'll make a couple hundred bucks and I'll dump it again. All right. That's as long as I'm going to hold this stuff. Uh, virtually everything else that I had weathered this better. That's kind of weird, Bell. I, you know, I wouldn't have thought I'd say that, but yeah, basically everything else in here weathered it better. So yeah, interesting day. I know you guys still want to hear about Bitcoin. You want to hear what do I think is going to happen? And I am more than happy to entertain it. But uh, yeah, somebody new type called new type had a question, and I think I answered it. Anyway, Bell, questions, comments, anything? All right, Stephen Douglas chiming in right before the show, going, "Jackal is bucking the trend just a bit. I think I know where Scott's Adam went." No, but uh, when I liquidate this Adam, it'll all go to Jackal or not. Everything uh, above five thousand dollars. So if if Adam just suddenly everybody gets interested and it it shoots up, then uh, as soon as I dump it, and it's going to be, uh, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'm not going to hold it long term, man. I don't trust it. I just don't. For an ecosystem token to do this, man, that's harsh. Uh, 
But yeah, whatever I pull off the top of that five thousand dollars will go to uh, Jackal, and the Adam will go back to USDC. Man, I'm just more comfortable there. I like to keep fifty grand ish, uh, just loose. I just like to keep about fifty thousand dollars USDC stable tokens in one form or another. So. If uh, uh, Bitcoin hiccups, then I'm in a position to do some quick buys and do some quick scalps. That's all it is. It's, uh, again, nothing personal. Carry on, though. Microman LSD truly alters your reality. Yeah, it does. And it alters an awful lot of people's realities over here. And this, this is That's the funny thing. All right, there's no way that this token should have dropped 5%. It should not have happened. There's no world in which that should have happened instantly. It simply shouldn't have happened. But anybody, I think, who's going to look at this objectively and start following out this charts, not backwards, not forwards, because the chart ain't going to tell you shit about what's about to happen, but it will tell you what did happen. And if you look for similar dips and you look for what Adam did, you can see that the fall of Adam, when this Bitcoin does a little hiccup, it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger by percentage every single time. Surely, I'm not the only person who noticed this. There's got to be somebody else who noticed it. We have an army of influencers telling you to buy Adam. Surely, they have looked at its past performance. It, it matters. Anyway, go, Bell. <laughs> Code R1. Osmo was $10 at one point in time. Now Adam will hit $5 foot long. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know what? I'll tell you what. By the time it gets there, I won't be in it anymore. I'll just put it that way. Uh, yeah, look, man, I'm still liquidating. You guys know where I'm moving it. I, I'm going bit by bit, taking little baby steps. I'm moving it over to here. Uh, at the same time that my Adam, all of my Adam fell out 5%. Uh, let me see what happened. What what did my Ethereum do during that exact same amount of time? Uh, yeah, 0.8. <laughs> That's what happened to the Ethereum. Uh, guys, look, man, it, it's just about insulation for me. It's about building the base. You guys, you know, I talk about this a lot. It's about building the base, and you've got to be in more stable assets. You've got to have at least a portion of it out there in uh, in, in uh, stable assets, man, or else I, I'd just never be able to sleep. Could you imagine if I was all in Adam? If the hundred and eighty thousand dollars that I've liquidated and put into Ethereum, if I was still in it, how much is five uh, percent of one hundred eighty thousand dollars, Bell? How much is that? I think it's a bunch. It's enough that I wouldn't be live tonight. So anyway, there you go, Bell. Please carry on. Code R one checked out Camelot decks. I think it's neat, cool. It it is neat, you know. But you got to keep in mind on these things, dude. Look, Camelot's uh, that's this decks, of course, right here. Look, dude, this is an L two. All right. And you've got to be able to don't think of an L2. Uh, know what it is. All right. An L2 is not an L1. An L2 is not decentralized. The L2 is, de is as decentralized as the L1 that they're built on top of. But the L2 itself it is not decentralized, man. All right. There's no big army of validators that are processing transactions here, anything like that. So uh, this is uh, the, uh, the Metroplex. All right. The Metroplex. That has, you know, 34 theaters. All right. The Metroplex itself is the level one, but each one of those individual movie theaters in the Metroplex, that's a level two. So when you go in there and you buy a ticket and you buy a ticket for Camelot, that's the only thing that you're going to see. But it only functions as long as the L1 functions and yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, a lot of interesting stuff. And this one uh, is built on Arbitrum. So the, you're talking about a, uh, yeah, this is a, uh, a DEX that is built on top of Arbitrum, which is built on top of Ethereum. So, you know, we're talking about, you know, frag to frag to frag. Go, Bell. All right, Microman, win Jackal Power Bottom Pool. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you love that? We were never able to launch that token. That was always funny. Uh, <laughs> Juno, the permissionless ecosystem. And you you do you. Apparently I mean, they we're... have, yeah, apparently they have limits. Who they knew? do have limits. And apparently the limits is a token called Power Bottom. That's it. That's where the line is drawn. There shall be no Power Bottom. Man, we, I had the money. I was shaking. All right, look, here's $5,000. We're going to start this token right here. And yeah, man, we were waiting for them to get back to us. And uh I don't even think they looked at it. They didn't even care, man. Juno didn't even care by now. That was actually funny. I saw another tweet. Some of the big cheerleaders out there, uh, the tweeter cheerleaders, uh, that have just been all over Juno. Oh, it's going to come back. Don't worry. It's great. Everything's going to come. It's going to come back. Wine road. These guys are actually uh, backing off. They're actually coming back and saying that. And it's like, oh, shit, boy, I really wrecked it on this one. It's like, dude, you wrecked it on all of them. I mean, you wrecked it on all of them. That's why they've that's why they've effectively changed uh, their methods now. They will only talk about what's going up 
And as soon as whatever they were talking about that is going up stops going up, they're going to stop talking about it. There's a very, very specific method to crypto reporting, and that's it, man. They they tried to branch out on their own, and then they got wrecked uh, in things like Juno and some of these other ones. And uh, yeah, so now they're not going to break from the formula. Everything's cool. Just you know, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Bell. And we're oh, you know what? We're at break. So uh, I'm I'm not going to do a live ring tonight, guys. I'm not feeling particularly funny, but I do got a lot that I, I have to get here, uh, get to here. So if you could please give us sixty seconds, get the questions in man all right because there's a lot that's going on over here you guys know i already know what i'm doing but i like to know what you guys are doing so yeah hit me up we will be right back 60 seconds Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, our, our booze of the evening is uh, Nebraska Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This was a uh, this was a gift from my daughter. Uh, she li- She's uh, no longer with us. <laughs> you, I made you look. Uh, no, she's over in Nebraska now, but apparently that's a very popular booze over there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, so we will get to your questions, guys, but I do have to... See if uh, Stride actually fixed their shit yet, or if it's still broken. Let's uh, let's find out. Uh, by the way, this is always an exciting time for me because I want to see how Shade is weathering this. Shade, uh, this little deck's right here. All of these pools. You see all that pink? You guys see all of these uh, LSDs? Your, your stake at them. All everything up and down here is effectively LSDs. So whenever I see a big hit. Uh, it always makes me a little bit concerned. How did Shay do? So, uh, but yeah, they seem to be weathering it. Let's see if uh, Stride actually fixed their shit here. All right. Oh, look, we got a balance. We have that and Stride Osmo. There it is. All right. Let's bridge it over and see if it'll actually bridge or not, or if they're still bricked. All right. Nineteen hundred. I don't know how much money that is. I'm nope. Still in error. Look. <laughs> There it is right there, guys. Aww. Still in error. I still can't bridge it. Uh, I saw they, they actually tweeted, and uh, they said thanks to all these other validators that came in, to, uh, came in to assist us. One, I'm a little bit concerned that you're running what's effectively – uh, what's the market cap on Stride right now? I mean, it, it's, it's up there, man. Uh, hang on. I just closed the wrong window, so give me a second, guys. <laughs> Coin Gecko. Let's uh, let's take a look and see where their market cap actually is. Oh, look, that's funny. I come up and I see Amp up here. That's like my default. Uh, let's see how how big is their little uh, their little ecosystem now. Uh, oh, it's not that big. Only eighty million dollars. But to me, it's still kind of funny that uh, that you get into trouble and you're an eighty million. You you can't pay guys to maybe handle this stuff for you. But that you had to go to Notional, Jacob. Jacob, of all people, had to swoop in here and uh, fix them up. But why would you tweet about that? That's what I don't understand. You basically said, yeah, we're broke. We don't know how to fix it. So we had to go to other people to help us fix our own ecosystem. But trust us. All right. We're aces. We're great. Everything er- everything over here works a treat. Uh, and it, it seems to until you actually try to utilize it for something. So I don't know if this is stride bricking it or if, uh, or if uh, it's shade bricking it. We'll try another one. We're going to see if we can actually get a bridge, Bell. Look, it's ticking longer. So this will either bridge over or I'm going to lose a uh, thousand bucks or whatever that is. <laughs> It'll probably lose it here as soon as it tries to make the transfer. Uh, yeah, now nah, we'll wait it out. 
See, we have to get it off from our Stride wallet and get it onto uh, Secret so that I can manipulate it here on Shade because the first thing I'd like to do is uh, drop half of this and turn it into Silk. I am more than happy to eat the uh, eat the slippage, and it'll probably be numerous. Uh, but, yeah, I want to go ahead and get rid of this stuff, and if they would have let me get rid of this last night when I tried to do it on the stream, I wouldn't have lost 3% of my money while I'm waiting. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but those percentages add up, man. That's kind of where we are. Look, Belt, look. Oh, 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 we got three dots. It might actually bridge. We might, <laughs> they might actually okay. be able to do it. I Cross wonder if there's, sure. yeah. Well, I wonder, man, are they sending the blocks by smoke signal? Is that what they're doing right now? Or is that cultural <laughs> appropriation? Carrier pigeons. Let's just say carrier pigeons. They're coming in and a guy's taking it down. He's writing it down right now. He's attaching it to the pigeon and he's sending it over to another validator. <laughs> hey, Scott's trying to bridge into secret. Let's go ahead and get that thing done. So the bird's flapping right now and we're just, we're waiting and it'll be great when it happens. All right. Uh, I'll revisit this. I'm not going to sit here and sit here for the rest of the stream and just sit here and watch this thing try to bridge. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, so, okay, where else did I get my ass kicked? I got my ass kicked here pretty good today, and uh, naturally it was in that big pool. So uh, where I was saying that this used to be my stablest of stable pools is no longer my stablest of stable pools. As a matter of fact, effectively everything else I had up here weathered it better than Adam. That, that's what's kind of sad is the fact that Beakry, uh held up better than, I, I think, than, uh, than the rest of those. Let's take a look. How did Beakry do? Did it take a 5% dump? Uh, yeah, actually it did. Yep, there it is, the same dump. However, uh, it didn't have as far to fall by uh, percentage or by uh, actual physical number. So, uh, yeah, between the Beakry shit in the bed and Adam shit in the bed and everything else shit in the bed and me eating all of the IL between a 5% immediate drop between that and USDC Gravity Bridge, it didn't work out real well for me. I'm saying I didn't have a good day on this. Now, I did make some... Uh, um, let's check and see if it finished, Rich. Transfer warning. Un oh, this is what you want to see. Unable to verify that assets were received. Please check your wallet and wrap if received. That's just great, Bell. I'm uh -oh. loving this. I am absolutely loving everything that's going on over here. Let's let's refresh and see if it'll come back anyway. Oh, the things I do for my audience. Huh? There we go. Well, it's gone. It, it doesn't exist there. Let's see if we can swap it. Let's see if it shows up over here. You guys, you got to get used to this if you're manipulating uh, this particular Dex. Come on, be there. 1900 something. Osmo is not there. Nope, didn't make it. <laughs> there we go, guys. All right, so the 1900 Stride Osmo that was in my wallet is no longer in my wallet, and it was not received by the Dex because, as you can see right there, I only have that. So unless something got really, really, really screwed up on this, let's take a look. Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe it did. Uh, let's see. Does anything show up over here? Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, it came over here, but it didn't wrap. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it and make that go away. So we're going to wrap it and see what happens to it. Now, uh, typically, they auto-wrap it. So when it comes over here, it actually wraps on your on your behalf. So it stops uh, going from, uh, it becomes a uh, BEP token. So, yeah, in this case, it looks like it did. So let's see if we can swap it now or if it shows up as anything. If it made it over here, let's refresh this. God, this deck sometimes, man. I'm just doing this for one stupid-ass APR, and it's really... I'm losing interest in this. All right, so let's swap that for silk. How much do we got? How much is that? A50, 950. Let's see what that's going to cost us. Ah, it's not bad, only 2 bucks. All right, getting rid of the uh, stride, Osmo, because we don't want that. It's only costing me about 2 bucks to do it. I'm cool with that. That is not bad at all. And then we're going to go ahead and LP it because I do like that APR. Now, I was planning on putting uh, 25000 in this, but I was uh, going to go bit by bit because I don't want to blow up the APR on it. So I like to uh, go gently into those. Where the hell did it go? Silk and stride. Yeah, there you go, 60%. All right, so let's go ahead and load this thing up. Uh, <laughs> how screwed up is this? Look, yeah, I can see the silk. That's what we just swapped for because I didn't have any, and it's still showing 1,900 over here. So let's be uh, generous, and uh, oh, that ain't gonna. It's gonna error out. I don't think I have that much. And if I did, if I do, then uh, we just broke. 
uh, then we just broke shade because you guys know for a fact that I don't have that there. Up, mm. oh, it was provide. Oh, there's no way, man. Did we just brick it, Bill? Did we just break <laughs> their decks? Because I'm still looking at 950 uh, Stride Osmo here. So that's not good. That's not good at all. Did we just break it? I'll tell you what. Let's go back here. Let me refresh it. If so, I'm not going to move it. I'll, I will send a, uh, something over to Car. This better say nothing when I get Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just a uh, front-end thing. So we still got 24 of them sitting there. At least there's that. At least that part of it worked. Yeah, at least that worked. <laughs> at least we didn't brick. At least we didn't rob them or brick their decks. All right. So, yeah, we're into this one for that 59.2%. Let me finish out my thought on this one uh, or why I'm here. Uh, I want to actually, I want to see if that Adam is going to make it back to five grand or not. Come on, be there. Oh, look, we're so close. It cost me $18 in slippage to make the swap. So we're actually up on this uh, a little bit. We're not quite back to the even $5,000, but we're on, we're, we're on our way and we'll go ahead and take it. All right, Belle, quick as you can, quick like a bunny. Questions, comments, <laughs> concerns. Go, go, go. New type, only buying Adam when the technicals on the charts tell me to take a shot. Looking to take a stab at buying Adam if it drops to 5 to $6. Uh, Sure, man, go for it. Uh, I'm, I'm not really in it like that. I'll do it short like you just saw, like I'm just showing you right now. Uh, I'm more than happy to go short on it because when you see a big blip like this, people get very, very emotional all of a sudden. It's just, it's the nature of it. And uh, the only thing I'm doing, the only Adam that I'm buying right now is Adam that I will hold for less than a day and just dump. I mean, that's it. That's the only thing it does for me anymore. Or to move from system to system, you know, like from Orai. And it, like all the other Dexes that I harvest, I'll turn it into Adam so that I can uh, so that I can get it back over there. Uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting. That That's all I'm going to say with it. Right now, it's moderately interesting when it takes a big shit like this. Uh, but, boy, that was a hard percentage, man. I mean, that was, that 5%, that was a That was a perfect sound effect, by the way. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong button. Uh, yeah, that was a hard percentage considering that Bitcoin only fell off uh, like less than a percent. But for that thing to shit the bed that hard, I mean, that's that's tough. man. I'm trying to – what else is way, way up there? Let me see. Go ahead, Bo. Ask another question. I'm trying to sort something out here. Lucas Hill, is it stupid to hold XRP? Uh, I don't think, uh, I wouldn't say that anything. Well, I mean, to right this moment, yes, because you're down 5%. Uh, you know, I'm going to go against the grain here. I usually do anyway, so I don't really have uh, any kind of real big particular. It, Solana, yeah, that's what I was looking at. Solana and a couple of these big ones, Solana and Tron and all this, man, they weathered this really, really well. Uh, Shiba actually went up. <laughs> Don Coin went up. Good for you guys. Uh, but yeah, man, to see it hit like that, that was a little rough. Uh, whatever, XRP is actually a product, but it's a product that could effectively function without the XRP token. So it's it, it's completely up to you, man. Look, it's an OG. It's a brand name. Everybody likes to hold the brand names. Uh, whatever it was going to do, it did. That That's all I'm going to say on that is uh, there's no more SEC worries or any of that is a security, whatever. Uh, whatever it was going to do, it did. So would I expect uh, XRP to 10x? And I understand that's the popular opinion. Is it? Oh, no, $800 any day now. Uh, I don't believe so. I think whatever it was going to do, it already did. It might stay in... Uh, that 10, 15% range up or down, whatever it's going to be. But it's uh, it, it's tough to earn with this one, man. It, it really is tough to earn. And uh, I would be going a different location. And, uh, for example, you guys basically see my wallets all the time. Do you see any XRP in my wallets? It's just the me thing, man. Look, it's if you like it, stick with it, man, and, and good luck. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I, I just... I. <laughs> but I don't see Bitcoin going to $150,000 either, man. So I might not be the uh, right person to ask on this. Anyway, carry on, Bell. Nuclear chicken. If Jackal doubles or triples and B Cree drops 50%, what would happen to those in the Jackal B Cree pool? Trying to understand how LPs work. Oh, you know, and any other time, dude, I would have explained all of this to you. 
But the longer we stayed as an educational channel, basically uh, teaching people crypto, uh, the less viewers we got. The worse our viewership got, nobody cared. And we educated our audience, and then they left and never came back. So I'd be happy to send me an email. Uh, Scott at the podcast.com or whatever, you know, it, we might start doing some individual classes. If people really want to know about this stuff, we get five or six of you together. We'll set up a special stream. We'll use a muse. We'll all come through and I'll, I'll do go over the intricacies of impermanent loss, because what would happen with that kind of spread? If Jackal like two X and, and B <laughs> cut in half, it would be uh, bedlam. It wouldn't be well, it, it, it wouldn't go real well. Anyway, carry on, Bill. Brownsburg bets. I think I've seen enough to avoid stride. No, man, it's great, dude. Don't you, uh, <laughs> don't, don't you, uh, it's the flavor of the week, man. That, that's what you, well, not the flavor of the week. It's been the flavor of six, uh, the last six months. This is what they're doing, man. This is what Cosmos is doing right now. And I, 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 I get it. Everyone, no, it's just how you do business. It's not, it's how you did business on Terra. That's how you did business there, man. But this is a fundamental misunderstanding of what crypto actually is and what crypto is actually for. This is money games. That's that's what they're doing here with all the LSDs and all this other stuff, man. They're just money games. They're just people uh, taking a fixed amount of money and trying to using you know a little bit of leaven, herbs, and spices, magic internet money, and trying to make more come out the other side. And and that's great. It'll work short term, but you are ignoring. Uh, you're or ignoring economic reality and you can ignore the laws for a brief time but you can never ignore the results of ignoring the laws history is on my side on this all right over and over and over so it, it's just it's a game that i i don't care to play i don't look man i want to invest in products fundamental sound products businesses that's what i want to invest in our businesses and effectively all of these uh damn money game uh, chains and apps and all this other stuff over here, they only function as long as you get a new group of sheep in constantly. You have got to constantly replace the people who got wiped out with a new group of people who didn't know that you wiped them out. That's what it is. It's called churn because that you're the product. You are you, the investor, Brownsburg Bat. You are the product. So all they want to do is Make something bright, make something shiny. It has no basis in reality whatsoever, but convince you that it's the right thing so that you put your money in there. You're the product. I am more convinced of this than ever, that in the cosmos, the product is the investor, not anything else that they're building, because very little what they're doing over here makes any sense whatsoever. Utility chains make sense. All right, Cosmosm, utility chains, all these things make a great deal of sense. But uh, Kava, Injective, all the other different products that are up there, do you guys have any idea how many DEXs exist? I mean, do you know? Did you ever actually look into that? How many DEXs exist? Because if you actually broke that down and took a good long look at that, it would be shocking. We've been talking about forever that you have got to watch yourself because we're going to dilute ourselves to stupidity. There are 10,000 coins. That's that's what we got listed here, 10,000. And there are 813 exchanges, 813 exchanges. And Cosmos has gotten to the point where every new uh, investor to the Cosmos gets their very own DEX. We're going to build it. Bell is going to move $8 worth of Atom in, and we're going to get the Belladex. That's that's <laughs> how easy it is to spin these things up and to get funding and to put them to work. There are 813 exchanges for 10,000 tokens. This doesn't seem a little bit ludicrous to anybody. This seems reasonable to you guys, right? This seems rational to you guys. Well, of course you want to do it. Competition's good for the market. <laughs> But it ain't, man. It ain't. I want you to look at that. It's right here. All right. 10,000 tokens and almost 1,000 exchanges. That means each exchange that exists could literally, could literally host 10 tokens. And then that's about it. Because other than that, it just gets stupid and ridiculously uh, diluted. That's where we're at right now. Go ahead. Carry on, Bell. <laughs> Okay, so quick question on the Belladex. If we actually okay. paid the eight dollars <laughs> and stood that up, uh, yeah. yeah, with with you know a massive maybe two validators, does that mean 
<laughs> does that mean I can sit there and do, do, <laughs> do that exactly what Cosmos is doing and rug, 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 and I get paid for Well, rug? I mean, that's that's kind of the way to do it. What you have to do is get really, really friendly with Cosmos people. Get really, really friendly with Cosmos validators and uh, the Cosmos grant committee that'll give you a grant for it. Because, you know, we could stand this thing up for like $3 million. No problem. We can get that built. It'll only take us nine months or so. Uh, and, yeah, man, we'll actually have them fund it. Then the Belladex goes up. And at that point, uh, the most important thing is to make sure that we have a DEX token so that you have a reason to do what you're going to do. And that means, of course, because 80% of the DEX tokens are going to be sitting in in the OA wall in your <laughs> wallet. So, yeah, you want to make sure that you have control over this. We're going to need 100 validators because we have to have a Genesis set of the validators. Those are the uh, Cosmos validators and the Cosmos Mafia people that approve the grant. So, you know, they get top 10. All right. And you're going to delegate, delegate, delegate to them because they have no interest in what you're doing. What they have interest in is uh, that their validators are on your chain. That's what really matters is that they get those validators up on your chain. Has any of you guys ever asked, have you ever actually sat and looked and take a look at all these chains and take a look at the validators that are on them and notice that the top 25 are effectively the same people? I mean, up and down the chain. It is effectively the same 25 validators, man. They don't give a shit about what they give a grant to as long as they can put a validator on it because they're there to farm it. That's all it is. Something new. People get excited. Oh, my goodness. We have to have this. Oh, we're going to have to have a validator up there. We'll make sure you get what you need to get. And then we're going to farm the chain because it's your job is to go out and, and get product. That's investors to your little thing so that these people can farm you by proxy. This is the cosmos welcome to it hope that answered the question bell carry on <laughs> jack sparrow only airdrop stride for me i'm scared off as well dude i i'm look man you guys are having trouble man you you started out your whole big thing is oh my god look at the tps look what we can do a billion transactions per second now one you're not getting any i mean dude you don't take my word for it go to map of zones look man, you can effectively for all of the transactions that are happening over here on the Cosmos right now, you could effectively handle them with a single L1. A single L1 would handle every bit of block space necessary for everything that's going on in the Cosmos right now. All right? Look, it, it's, it, it's got it. So the fact that we keep putting up more and more L1s, man, I told you why. I just explained it. And I'm 100% right. We're going to continue to do it, get them, grant them, fund them, VC it, do everything so that the Genesis set is uh, people who are going to bat for you are in the Genesis set so that they can farm it. The niftiest thing that they have going for them is that they know there's always going to be something new. So by the time this one really, really shits the bed, there's something new coming out. And then people will forget about that. <laughs> Juno. Bell, carry on. All right, Monero De Niro, you mentioned HBAR. What about a little farming on Saucer Swap? Explore uh, new ecosystems that are on the up and up? Uh, I'm not familiar with uh I you know, I went and looked through HBAR yesterday. I am looking I am branching out, guys. I'm going everywhere. Uh I, I'm in the chains that I'm in on the cosmos, and I'm I'm gonna stay in them because I believe in them. But uh yeah, I've been uh, out looking at some of these other ones, and I did go over to HBAR. I just didn't see that much interesting over there, but that was a funny thing. A lot of DEXs, but you know, every uh, ecosystem up here has at least 50 to 60 DEXs. Uh, CoinGecko confirms that, <laughs> that there's going to be tons and tons of DEXs on all these little things. But the ones I were looking at, they there's not a lot of TVL. I'm not going to expose myself uh, to a lot of these things with some of this smaller thing, uh, smaller TVLs and things that are just simply not interesting to me. Uh, I can do all the farming I really need to do kind of where I am, but I, I'm always uh, open to taking a look at something else. I may not have gotten to the end of the H bar. When you go to ecosystem and everything that they have on there, I, I didn't see saucer swap, but for what it's worth, I didn't make it past N. So if it actually exists over there, uh, I'll take a look at it. By the way, uh, H bar has a lot of NFT platforms. I know what you're going to say, Bell. No, color me shocked. NFT platforms. Yes, they had a lot of NFT platforms. Carry on, Bell. Stephen Douglas, the how-to and why-for videos are really what set the podcasts apart. You can't find step-by-step -step 
in instructionals anywhere else. It'd make a great Patreon series. Yeah, and we we uh we'll we'll put them over on the Patreon. But uh, you know, honestly, guys, look for us. We 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 broke out the math and we make forty three cents uh, an hour for doing this, and that's between two of us. We make forty three cents an hour. Uh, putting up these uh, videos and doing the content as much as I like it. I like to have fun too. So this, what you're seeing lately, like last week and this week, this is me just having fun, guys. We make nothing doing this and uh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're not going to, man. Nobody's going to show up for this. I love the how-tos. I want to help. I like to do all that stuff, but uh, there's no interest in it, man, or at least no interest in it uh, for me doing it. I'm pretty sure if I put a you know 23-year-old uh, hot redhead sitting in this chair wearing this vest and this tie right now. Uh, she would have two zeros after the amount of viewers we have right now. And she could do how-to videos all day. They just don't want to hear it from me. But yeah, I mean, they're still out there, man. Look, we got them on the channel. If you guys want them on the Patreon and you're a Patreon member, just ask, dude. You know I'm happy to do it. I I'll take my time doing those. I'll wear t-shirts. We'll get comfortable and we'll just really get into the nitty-gritty. Carry on, Bell. Hey, you know what? At least that 43 cents is a, is barely, barely enough to buy a pack of ramen noodles. <laughs> That's about it. Bell does it for the ramen. Gustav's like the last ramen. guy. Gustav's the last guy who tips, and he tips you because he knows you get the money. <laughs> you get the money. Come on, Bell. Give me something interesting. All right. So, Fair Daddy chiming in with the uh, Bella token. Where do I pay my $8? I don't know. Just give her the eight bucks, dude. <laughs> you know, you can tip here on YouTube and you get the Bella token. Uh, I think if you go over, I don't know where they are. Is MJ on? It, uh, you got your mouth agape. Obviously, there's another comment that I, I'm not privy to here. So, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not All yet. right. What, Micro what's, what has you so alarmed, Bell? Go. Microman chiming in with Win Hot Redhead. Uh, I don't know, man. If I put on a if I put on a wig, would that do it for you? I don't know, man. You 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 UK guys, man. You guys got some weird kinks. Uh, I I could be the hot redhead. Would the, would you be all right with that, or am I too old? Is how it is. I, I'll dye this red. We'll put on the the wig, and there you go, man. I'm 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 all about the fans. <laughs> Carry on, Bell. All right, new type, and jumping back a couple of lines, new type. <laughs> it is ludicrous, and unfortunately, it's just something that takes time for markets retailers to realize there's a lot of copy-paste projects in crypto. Just need to find the strong ones that last. Yeah, and for them to last, though, babe, look, man, they got to be a business. You know, the, the kicker with this, and most of crypto, is... <sighs> It's tough to make a business, all right? And there, there are very, very simple rules to business. The very first rule of business is actually uh, you, could, you could actually do this on a single piece of paper. And what you write on this side of the paper is income, all right? That's how much money is flowing into the business, right? On this side of the paper, it says income. And on this side, it says expenditures. Now, this is how much money is flowing out, your burn rate, all right? That, that's what matters. So if uh, this side of the paper is higher than this side of the paper, then you're going to stay in business. But uh, uh, crypto people don't look at it like that. I mean, look, you're talking about a lot of young guys. Great ideas. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I can't build a fucking L1. I can't do any of that other stuff. But I could certainly tell you or at least get you on a path to monetization for it. Uh, a business has to have an income stream. It has to have uh, preferably multiple income streams. All right, because income streams don't last. Uh, and, and when A fades out, you need B to pick up. You need C to, that's sitting here shoring the whole thing up. And if you're not looking at it like that, if you're not actually putting your thought into saying, okay, now we've built a product, now how do we sell the product? If you don't actually put thought into that, then you're just going to sit here, you're going to bleed, you're going to burn, you're going to die. Uh, I, I keep coming back to this one because I'll tell you what, man, I am hoping for the absolute best but I, I, I kind of said, or I kind of pointed out, this is what you're going to see on this thing, like the very second that it launched. And it's kind of weird that you're seeing exactly that. Because even long before they launched, this is Archway, by the way. Now, long before they launched, I said, okay, how are you going to monetize anything? What are you launching with? We had Archway people on. We had Eric. We had everybody on. They said, well, we got a DEX. We have some NFT platforms and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, yeah, but that's all over the cosmos. All right, that's already here. 
and it's all over the place. So what are you going to do that is unique? What service are you going to fulfill that is unique? What need are you going to fulfill that doesn't exist anywhere else here in the cosmos? And the answer was, well, we're better for builders. And I, I entertained it. I said, sure, you're better for builders. But if anybody had a, a, an, an idea to build something that was actually a business, that was actually monetizable, they already would have built it. So what you're going to do is stand up your L1. You're going to burn through all of your damn money because you're paying validators, you're paying devs, you're paying all these other people, and nobody is using your chain. Nobody are, are, are leasing blocks from you. None of this stuff is happening. And you went from here in a period of 30 days, and you guys are at a 30-degree death spiral all the way down, and I'm not sure what's going to recover that. Now, SEI, that was the, all the hype right now. SEI, Psy, is it Psy? Is it, is it SEI or is it Psy? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, they just they just pop. Big-ass airdrop. Everyone excited. Man, we haven't seen a big airdrop in a long time. Oh, my God, this is going to be wonderful. And, yeah, here they are. I mean, this is, I mean, they launched five minutes ago and <laughs> the token is down 12%. Now that's a normal uh, sell-off, but unfortunately in this case, you can't just dump the S, the SI, all right? You have to stake it. They, they got a little bit smarter with this stuff, but this isn't going to change. Come back to me in 30 days. We'll show you the same chart and it'll be on the same 30 degrees of dick because that time has passed in crypto. The just build an L1, build it, they will come. The field of dreams thing has already happened. And nobody's coming up with anything new now. They're just doubling down on what already didn't work. And they're doing it in the same way. So these are not investable products to me. I have zero interest in these. None of these things are investable. And I'm sorry, but we're an investment channel. So as much as I'd like to come up here and hype it up and talk about, oh, the great tech and all that, nobody cares. All right? Nobody cares. Investors simply do not care. And they show it. Every single day they show it. Every time I pull up one of those charts. Bell, carry on. All right. So Norlu chiming in with the comment of Bell looks hot today. Bell look Thank okay. You. Round of applause. <laughs> That's the first Good for you. I've gotten in a long time, actually. You know, I am wearing a fantastic uh, bespoke vest, and nobody's. I, I don't. I look good. Norvu mm -hmm. or Norlu? Do I not look good, dude? I shave particularly close today. I have oil in my beard. I'm wearing a very very nice vest. Nobody ever tells me I look. You know what? Go fuck yourselves, all of you. Go, Bell. <laughs> All right, Fair Daddy, <laughs> you in a wig, I'm out. No, dude, I got one sitting right over there. We did a stream, our holiday stream. Halloween, wasn't it, Bell? We did Halloween. Yeah, it was Halloween. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did uh, the living dead girl. <laughs> that was our Halloween costume. I had the big one, man. I mean, I, dude, I look great. Carry on, Bell. I got hit with a $20 super chat from Fair Daddy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at you. That's it, man. That that's uh, that definitely upped your your number today, man. Look, you you made twenty dollars. Good for you, Bell. I, I, I get to go buy a whole brick of ramen now. That's a lot of ramen, Bell. Come on, carry on. <laughs> Stephen Douglas, you don't need a twenty three year old redhead to get way more viewers. You can do the same show with Bell full screen the whole time, and you'd hundred x viewership. All right. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what. Uh, Challenge accepted. Bell, are you going to be? Uh, are you are are you joining me tomorrow night? I am joining you tomorrow night. This yes. is the show tomorrow night. All right, you guys are looking at the show right this very second. You are looking at the show tomorrow night. Bell's going to take the lead. Bell's going to talk about what she wants to talk about. Scott will produce. I'll call in the questions. I'll call in everything. But we're going to put this theory to the test. And tomorrow, you are looking at the show. Now, Bell, you're <laughs> going to have to do two things. I'm going to help you out here. One, you're going to have to angle that camera down just a little bit. And I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this. And you're going to have to wear something low cut because it is what it is. But, guys, tomorrow night, this is the show. It's the Bell Show. And we're going to put that to the test. And whatever Bell wants to talk about, Bell is going to get to talk about. We're going to have a ball. Carry on, Bell. Gustav Smith saying, I double dog Gary. I believe he was talking about putting on the wig and decking yourself out as the hot redhead. Oh, I could do it, man. I don't know, man. You know, I got kind of a big chest. Uh, not like boobies or whatever. It's I've, you know, I've been nothing my whole life. Uh, I don't think I could pull off like the little black number. I just don't think I would be that guy. I, I mean, some some of these little soy boys could pull it off pretty well. I don't think I'm that guy. 
I, I'm just, that's not really me, but I'll have a go, man. Look, if it gets up viewership and gets you guys tipping, sure. Bell, buy me something, buy me something hot. All right. We'll wear it on the other show. Carry on, Bell. All right. Nurlu, have you checked out, have you checked Crust Network out, Scott? Uh, I have. Now, I, I didn't get in depth, man. Look, uh, just, just so you guys know where I'm coming from. Uh, I won't put money into anything that I don't deeply understand. That's just, I, I am a do your own research kind of guy, but what I'm looking for might not be the same thing that everybody else is looking for. And typically when I'm looking for new projects, uh, I'm looking for projects that are, that are monetizable. That that's it. So, uh, Jackal, you guys know I'm into Jackal. All right. Jackal is the easiest to predict crypto in crypto. I mean, there literally is no other crypto that is easier to nail than this one. If you're looking for an actual project, a product, a monetizable product, uh, there is simply no better crypto than this one right now. And I, I absolutely believe it. I'm absolutely right. I own millions of these goddamn things. So clearly, man, my money is where my mouth is. But, uh, you're talking about something that will go up as they get users, period. That's it. There's always going to be a speculative element to crypto. All right. That's not going to go away. Crypto is what it is. Most people simply do not understand it. Most people simply do not care. Uh, what they care about is, is the token going to go up? That's all they care about. That's it. That's what they want to know. What makes the token go up? Uh, we have tons of people. I mean, we literally have validators on that particular chain, Jackal chain right there, that have never used Jackal storage. They can't even intelligently talk about it. And I know because I talk to them. But we have people validating this chain that don't even know what the hell it is. What it is, how it works, nothing. They know nothing about it. What they know is that they got a Genesis delegation, and that's the last that you will ever hear of them. But if you want to talk about something that is amazingly easy to predict as far as the price goes, that one right there. And is amazingly easy to do your research because look at who they're partnering with. Look at where their announcements are going. And look at those partnerships and say, are these going to generate users, not investors? Are they going to generate users? Because you understand that to use the Jackal protocol, you have to pay for it with the Jackal token. So the more users that are on this particular network, that is a constant steady stream of buy pressure on a token. So you start hitting this thing on multiple levels. There's nothing easier to predict in the entire crypto world right now than that particular token. And there is still dick for interest behind this. How can I prove it? There was $8,000 worth of volume on this thing. That's it. An actual use case product. And there was $8,000 worth of volume on it. My logic is sound on this. And yeah, no, I just, I, I'm cool with it. You know, the best thing about this is uh, I don't need people to invest in it to be successful in this product. I just need people using it. And yes, they're making more and more and more of them. Anyway, carry on, Bell. We're getting towards, towards the end. Nurlu, you guys looking good, both of you today. You know what? Thank you, man. I needed that yeah. pick me. I needed that pick me up today. I appreciate that. It, it's got to be. Uh, it's got to be the white shirt, Bell. I don't know, man. People are into me. They dig me. Chicks dig me. All right, chicks are just really, really into me, man. They like old, burned out, fat crypto guys. That's that's what they're into. Thank you. Carry on, Bell. All right, toot. I miss the Ada T-shirts. She ADA. could get onto us for calling it ADA. She's it's Ada. No, it's ADA. You know why it's ADA? Because it is literally ADA. That that it says it on there. I mean, th th this is it. There's no word, or, or maybe there is a word, Ada. That's funny because I have a master's degree in English, and I don't know if there's uh, the word Ada. If that exists somewhere, I have to go check my Latin. It's probably <laughs> buried down there somewhere. I don't know. Uh, I will wear the T-shirt for you. When I put on the redhead wig and the and the hot uh, the hot twenty three year old dress, I'll I'll wear uh, eighty I'll, I'll wear the Ada, Ada T-shirt uh, underneath the dress. That way you can see it. I'm hitting every wicket here, Bell. I am I'm I'm hooking up everything. Carry on, Bell. All right, Temple Mountain Records. Hey, Bell and Scott, did you look into Shido? Uh no, didn't get the chance to, dude. I believe you, and I know you're coming back. By the way, thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to join our streams, man. We love having people here. Uh, no, I just didn't get a chance, dude. There's a lot going on with that. There's just there's a, a, a lot going on right now, and I'm kind of restricting my capital, meaning that I'm I'm not 
taking a lot of swingaways. I just, I, I just can't. Uh, every, the, everything is so in flux over here. I'm getting my ass kicked on Adam, of all things. Uh, let, let's do the uh, Jerry Lewis muscular dystrophy telethon. We're gonna update the big board here. Do you guys remember that? Who remembers that? Who remembers the Jerry Lewis muscular dystrophy telethon? I used to love that. I mean, Jerry looked burned out by the end of it. You know, 24 hours solid broadcasting. Uh, he just looked like shit by the end of it. But he kept doing it year after year. But my favorite part was updating the board. So we're going to update the board and see if I, I actually cracked uh, my $5,000 buy on Adam, if it's actually worth $5,000 yet. And we're going to the board. And no, it's not. Well, no, we're still short nine bucks. Uh, the slippage on that was $18 for a $5,000 bulk purchase of it using USDC. So uh, I'm over where I would have been. But yeah, I'm still down nine bucks. So that's it. We didn't update the board. All right, Bell, we're just about at time. If we got anything left, just lightning round them. Go, go, go. Two chiming in. Scott talks but doesn't listen. Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace. Is that like that's porn? What? No, that's what ADA is named after. Or Ada a is named after. Uh huh. A Ada Lovelace. Uh huh. Well, I'm not in ADA. How would I know that? <laughs> That sounds like a she's porn. Talk, is that a porn? She's name? talked about it in our Discord. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. I know, but I'm too busy defending myself from everything that I don't really have time to listen to all that stuff. No, I'm sure she's uh, marvelous. Uh, Toot, I promise you, in my next video, I will do a, a brief uh, blurb on Ada Lovelace. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, please, total respect. Don't don't pull my nuts off. Go, Bell. <laughs> That was actually the last one for the moment. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So you guys know what you're into tomorrow night. I'm going to make sure it's big and bold on the thumbnail. Tomorrow night is the Bell Show. And Scott will be here in a uh, a support capacity. So it's whatever the hell Bell wants to talk about. Right now, I know she's, she's shitting her pants because she's tried this before. She tried to first chair this. And uh, crypto changes fast. All right. Crypto changes really, really fast. And if you're not glued to it the way I am, you're going to miss an awful lot of stuff. But tomorrow night, by popular demand, meaning the family, uh, you guys want to see this screen. And this is the screen you're going to have all night. I'm literally, she's on the screen right now. I'm watching your jaw clench because I know you're uptight about this. Uh, I can't wait to see what she's actually going to, uh, what she's going to come up with. But yeah, no, I'm here uh, in a support capacity. Tomorrow night is the Bell Show. Uh, by demand you guys wanted it you got it man we are here for that anyway consider this my outro bell talk us up talk us out guys i had a wonderful time tonight go bell all right well again ladies and gentlemen those of you who joined us this evening we cannot say thank you guys enough keep the fantastic comments and questions coming they do keep us on our toes and they do make us think now with that being said as scott was just saying we are going to be back on at our normal time of 6 p.m. Central Standard. In between now and tomorrow, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, definitely don't hesitate to email Scott or myself, scott at thepodcast.com or bella at thepodcast.com, and we'll get those answered for you. Again, we can't thank you enough, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. are dropping new videos and podcasts every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And be sure to look for us on Instagram, Twitter, and Parlor at The Podcasts. Also, visit our page at thepodcast.com, all one word, for all of our most